as far as the eye can see, little white tents emerge from eastern Congo's rich soil. A new wave of victims in a decades-old conflict. Now, as the UN peacekeeping force prepares to leave and the M23 rebels gain ground, the fighting these people have fled is catching up with them. They are seeking shelter around Goma, the largest city in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. But the M23 rebels have now encircled it. Here, the newly arrived from rural northern Kivu rest and wait to be processed. Asante kwa jambo hiyo. Eni kiwaza tuleza fika hapa na tuko idadi ya wakimbizi zaidi ya elfu tatu ni anane na moja. Lakini kwa sasa tuko wengi sana. Kambi ya bulengo ayo peke na zaidi ya idadi ya watu ya elfu makumi tatu na munane, miambili makumi tatu na kenda. People come in waves, sometimes more than a thousand families a day fleeing the M23 as they move in on new territory. They have been accused of mass killings, rape and other war crimes. Victoria has just arrived. She has eight children. Their father was killed along with her own father, her mother and her siblings. Jean has five children. In the panic as they fled, she was separated from her husband and the rest of their family. She doesn't know if they made it. Have you seen the M23? These are the people who are mandated to protect them. One of the longest and most expensive peacekeeping missions in the UN's history. But now, it's shutting up shop. So basically the purpose of this patrol is to dominate the entire road which is going... Moving from through Goma the empty streets of Goma, far from any fighting, I'm out with one of the remaining brigades from India. Victor 1 for Delta 1-0, over. Delta 1 zero, They are not keen to talk about leaving. Have any of your forces already gone or they are, you're all here? Uh, that's a question I can't answer. That's, you have to ask my headquarters for that. Okay. You're not allowed to answer some questions? Yeah? Yes. They have become deeply unpopular here, seen as being ineffective and accused of abusing their power. They are the focus of people's anger. There have been incidents in the past where uh, stones have been thrown at our vehicles. So we ensure that uh, we are moving in bulletproof protected, bulletproof vehicles so that uh, our troops are safe. And who, who is throwing stuff at you? Is it just local people? Or? It is mostly the locals. Mm -hmm. And you're here, you're here as peacekeepers. Why would they throw stones at you there? That's a question you should ask them. When they do go, it will be these Congolese forces who will be left to hold off the M23. Backed by neighboring Rwanda, the M23 have re-emerged as a fierce fighting force. They want control of this land and its abundant natural resources. We shall build in peace a country more beautiful than before, they sing. the Congolese national anthem, but it's not their government filling their stomachs. Local initiative Goma Active are providing the steaming vats of porridge. Hungry-eyed children clasp their plastic cups like a lifeline. Resources are stretched here. In the past few months, nearly a million people have fled the fighting, bringing the total displaced in this country 
to more than 7 million. Eastern Congo has long been flooded with international aid, sticking plasters on a conflict with deep roots and international backers. These young volunteers from the Congolese middle class believe they must stand up and take more responsibility. For me, it's a sort of redevabilité moral. Je le fais parce que je sais que j'ai quelque chose à offrir. Le gouvernement n'est pas jusque là euh, incapable d'aider les gens, mais nous pensons que notre aide est aussi primordiale pour euh, pour ces gens. The food they provide is a vital lifeline for children like the Barakas. Watching their smiles as they play, you would not know the pain that they carry. <laughs> When they reached safety, they discovered their mother hadn't made it. They journeyed back to find her body. Then one morning after they reached Goma, their father went out to find food but never returned. And ho ho how are you surviving then? Who is looking after you? Jibu's tears will go unnoticed. Congo is a forgotten conflict. Foreign states meddle on both sides. The government is dysfunctional and the land holds an abundance of wealth for whoever controls it. And so the magnitude of suffering these people have endured is only set to increase. Aid agencies will flood in more cash, but no one involved has the appetite to fix this country's woes. Until they do, the people here will not benefit as they should from their rich lands. And the dub version of Jamal Osman's report will be going onto our website shortly.